and welcome to Studio Set Stage, a weekly podcast with us, Cynthia Mallard and Mark Dean, where we take you from the studio to the set to the stage in the world of entertainment. Hey guys, welcome back to Studio Set Stage. I'm Cynthia Mallard. And I'm Mark Dean. Hey guys, oh my God, so much to get to uh, today. Uh, Talking about Black Music Month, of course, you know, uh, billboards. You know, how far is too far to make your dreams come true? Oh yeah. Also, uh, the American Film Institute happened last night honoring uh, my boy uh, Denzel Washington. Mm. And... Apple Music, right? Yes. Well, iTunes, the uh, platform is shutting down after 18 years. So we got a plethora of things to get to. That's right. So, guys, (laughs) I want to say thank you uh, very much uh, just for following along with us on all our social media platforms. We see you. So thank you so so uh, very much. If you are new to Studio Set Stage Mm -hmm. uh, and you haven't subscribed, that's what we need you to do, like right now. Yes. We need you to follow us, like us. You can listen to us on iTunes, mm-hmm. Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and Google Play. And we have some more platforms that's coming up. So stay tuned, guys. Yeah, so we're everywhere, guys. Mm-hmm. So um, how you been doing, Mark Dean? Uh, I've been doing good. Good, doing good, good. Can't good. complain. Can't complain. Been busy. Yeah. Been busy. That's what I was going to yes. say. I, I'm the same way. Like, I've just been busy. Like, uh, Mark, you know, you have your things going on. Mm-hmm. Then me, I have so much going on or whatever. Oh, yeah. And sometimes it's, it's just hard for us to come together and actually just sit down and just talk about like the things that are important uh, to our studio set stages to you guys you know yes indeed but you know what you have to make time yeah. and you yeah. know definitely the feedback that we've been getting has been phenomenal mm-hmm. and uh, again we thank you guys for your support and continue to support us again uh, we have the studio set stage dot com mm-hmm. which is coming yeah so um, a lot of great things are in the works yeah so, so don't I'm, forget I'm, I'm excited don't forget to I mean I'm glad you mentioned that because mm-hmm. don't forget to go to studio set stage dot com yes. and actually sign up so just put mm-hmm. all you all, all it takes is go to studio set stage dot com and just put your email in there uh, we've said it before uh, once we're open once we've finished everything that we want to offer to you guys uh, we'll open it up and then you'll be the first to know it's open and that you can take advantage of what we have to offer exactly so don't wait mm-hmm. go ahead sign up and um, let's get it let's get it popping get it popping no you know doubt. what speaking <laughs> of popping so last night uh, Mark Dan, I, I was just so excited like last night uh, the American Film Institute held their Life Achievement Awards Gala mm. and our, we, like, we like to say our boy but our uh, distinguished uh, man uh, Denzel Washington was the 47th recipient of the honor last night. And just oh, want to say awesome. congratulations, awesome. congratulations. Uh, to yes. him. Of course, the award ceremony was held at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood uh, last night. Mm. Uh, Denzel Washington, for all of us, of course, if you're a studio set stager, then you know Denzel Washington. Mm-hmm. Uh, you love Denzel Washington. Like I said, uh, so much attention has been placed on other people with less, you know, with less work. Right. Uh, Denzel, very much much deserved uh, nominated for an Academy Award I think eight times right mm. he's won twice for yes. a glory and right. a training day right both best, best supporting uh, actor and best actor exactly yeah, right, right. so mm. um, I, I remember listening I think a reporter had asked him last night uh, you know what is it that you're you, you're most proud of you know mm-hmm. when it comes to your career right? right so most times you would think that you know somebody might say something totally like oh it was this time when I was working with this particular actor or director, guess uh-huh. what he said? He said, you know, I, I am proud of the actual career. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. actually, like, having having a career that has been sustainable, the arc of it, you know what I'm saying? The longevity. Like, he's still there. He's still an A-list actor, mm-hmm. you know? Right. And keep it in perspective, you know, definitely uh, I, I saw where he actually acknowledged you know, his family as well. Mm -hmm. And um, that's um, really important uh, to keep, you know, you got to keep it in perspective. He knows how to be a husband because he actually said, you know, (laughs) my biggest, uh, my biggest life achievement, biggest one of all time is marrying my wife and having my wife. So, uh, happy wife, happy life. So we already know about that. Remember that, guys. Happy (laughs) 
life exactly. happy wife. Well, all right? I will nah. tell you, you know, uh, in attendance last night, uh, Spike Lee, uh, mm-hmm. you see actor Michael B. Jordan, Mahershala Ali, uh, my favorite director and producer, Ava DuVernay, also uh, Julia Roberts, who was at uh, Denzel Washington's head table, okay. along with uh, Chadwick Boseman. So really just some A-list stars uh, at the event last night. Mm-hmm. I will tell you, okay. I was so excited because there was a surprise appearance by none other than Beyonce. Okay. That's right. Yeah. So surprise right. appearance uh, by Beyonce. Uh, she was there. Uh, mm. She presented. Right. Mm-hmm. She presented um, her longtime director, formation director, Melina Masukas, um, with uh, with an award also. Now, uh, she worked with uh, Melina for like Upgrade You, Diva, and of course, um, the award-winning Formation video. Okay. So hats okay. off okay. to right. Melina Masukas. And then seeing, mm-hmm. okay, seeing the Queen Bee come in and, and giving an award. So mm-hmm. I know that you uh, saw that uh, Jennifer Hudson, right? Mm-hmm. She sung like the amazing, amazing rendition of Sam Cooke's um, a change is going to come. Oh, right. And I uh, awesome. did a phenomenal, mm-hmm. phenomenal job. So. Yes, yes. Kudos to Jennifer. Um, just uh, a couple weeks ago, she was also featured in the live mm-hmm. uh, shooting of the Jeffersons yeah. and All in the Family. She actually and sung the yeah, theme song, she right? She sung the theme song yeah. for, well, we're moving on now. I think she did a great uh-huh, job. Right. I think she got she got some criticism <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, I was just looking. I was, I think I was on IG early. And it was like, mm-hmm. you know what? If you ain't got haters, you ain't doing it. So uh, yeah. people who on there hating on her about about, you know her rendition I thought it was great I thought it was fabulous you right, know what right. you doing you sitting on the couch and she over there singing a rendition <laughs> right. okay uh, hello so uh, for those of you who are interested and want to see uh, the American Film Institute uh, show it will uh, air so it was taped it will air uh, June 20th I think on uh, TNT oh TNT yeah okay. yeah and I think right. they will do a rebroadcast on uh, TMC also okay yeah yeah right so mark your calendars on that man yeah, it should yeah. be great it was awesome you know I just just, you know, just being a, a part of this this industry, mm-hmm. you know, like this podcast, you know, it's studio set stage. Yes. And guys, it is important that uh, we stop, you know, and you honor and, and you you know, you acknowledge those people who have reached the peak yeah. in what you do. Yeah. You know, um, these guys have mastered the craft mm-hmm. and you got to remember it is a craft. Mm-hmm. And if you take care of your craft, it will take care of you. It will. So it will. you have to um, definitely, you know, uh, the blueprint has been laid. Um, even though this thing is ever changing, um, you have to stay on that. Mm-hmm. But you also mm-hmm. have to know that there is a process and mm-hmm. there's some things that's tried and true. And those guys like Denzel, like Denzel, and exactly. like the Oprah's and all of those exactly. guys that are doing it, you know, like Spike Lee's and those guys that, that have been in it. They know the process. You know, they know the process. They, they know the mm-hmm. business. Yeah. And they do not forget. What I what I like about it is they do not forget uh, those guys coming behind them. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, when you think about Omari Hardwick, you think about Chadwick Bozeman, uh, all these uh, veterans have had a hand in lifting these guys up. Right. You know, bringing them right. into the fold. So, exactly. yeah. Exactly. And uh, speaking of which, you know, um, this is Black Music Month. And, um, you know, they have uh, a couple of um, specials that are, you know, they really caught my eye. As a matter of fact, today what premiered was the Netflix uh, documentary mm. for The Black Godfather. Oh, wow. Which is a wow. documentary based on the life and the career of Clarence Avon. Now, mm. those guys that don't know who this is, yeah, school definitely is. go on Netflix, <laughs> definitely check out the documentary because this is a pioneer. Um, and this guy actually knows the process and actually has the method to the madness and has had this for years. He actually discovered Bill Withers. Mm. He actually was one of the first um, African-American um, pioneers to actually launch a label, a record label mm. uh, with the likes. Well, he joins the ranks like Barry Gordy's, mm. you know, the Quincy Jones. But wow. this guy has been like they say you have kings, but then you have king makers. Um, Mr. Evan was definitely a king maker. Wow. wow you know, so wow. Um, interesting. I mean, it's about a two hour documentary, but it on premiered Netflix, today right? yeah. on um, Netflix. So wow. uh, do yourself a favor for everybody that's out there and want to get the blueprint and some jewels. Mm-hmm. Definitely check that documentary out. I saw the Black a Godfather. Clip. I saw I saw a clip where mm-hmm. uh, he was saying um, 
where someone had asked him, like, what college did you go to? And he was like, man, please. Yeah. He probably said something else, like, be please. The but, school uh, of hard knocks. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. He said he had worked under, like you said, those people who are actually doing it, making the money deals out in the streets. You know, mm-hmm. that was like his college. So, yeah, I'm right. definitely going to tune into it. Uh, check it out. You yes, know? indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Again, it premieres uh, today and it is on Netflix. So all you guys that mm-hmm. are familiar with that, definitely mm-hmm. go online and check it out. Even if you're not, you just heard it on Studio Set Stage. That's just right. go and do it because we you told heard you it here. to. Right. You heard it from Mark Dean. <laughs> hey, I heard, I heard, go do it now. I heard that, uh, <laughs> Since I know that, you know, you're a producer and Mm -hmm. have been in music for a long time. So, like, I heard that there's, like, major changes uh, to iTunes that, like, kind of broke this week and stuff like that. Uh, Did you cry? Most definitely. (laughs) (laughs) No, it wasn't like that. Um, You know, just understanding within this industry, within the entertainment industry, especially with music, um, there are major changes that are occurring every 60 to 90 days. Content creators as well Mm -hmm. as consumers. Mm -hmm. um, Apple announced the end of their platform, iTunes. Oh, my God. Um, just <laughs> after 18 years. Yeah. You know, yeah. it started in 2001, but uh, they announced it at their annual Worldwide Developers Conference mm. that um, the platform will end, um, and they're going to be breaking it up oh. in three apps. Okay. Uh, and, of course, we all know about Apple Music. Mm-hmm. Um, we kind of been used to that. So That's it's not streaming. going away. So it's no, not it's really not. going away. No, it's then. not. Right. They're just okay. breaking it down. Okay. Um, and you still, for everybody out there, because I know I was kind of alarmed when I heard about it, was like, well, you know, I downloaded some music. So uh, is my music that I downloaded, is it going away? No, it's not going away. Mm-hmm. Um, as a matter of fact, with Apple Music, everybody that's been um, using that platform, and of course millions have, um, they will still have Apple Music, but they're going to break it into three again. Three different categories. Apple Music, mm-hmm. then Apple Podcasts, okay. which is going to be relevant to Studio Set Stage. That's so right. Guys, I know y'all can get us here. You get the app. <laughs> That's right. You know, Apple's Podcast, you can find us there, and Apple TV. Oh, um, man. Because they're going to be expanding Apple TV. They're going to be doing uh, kind of what Netflix and mm-hmm. kind of what Prime Video, Amazon on Prime Video they're doing Mm -hmm. they're going to be actually implementing more original programming so again um, iTunes will be divided into those three major platforms so you think so so it sounds like the the motivation is like money or whatever or streaming um, well because of the current platform it is becoming stream based cloud based Um, but again um, there have been some complaints from certain users claiming that in the past couple of years as they developed iTunes, um, it's kind of bloated. It's mm. kind of been bloated. So what you mean? they're what, gonna be streamlining. You mean? Well, you like, know, they were saying the accessibility to get around oh, okay. in terms of yeah. um, you know, okay, well the categories it's convoluted. we're not yeah. You, yeah. I mean it's it's been kind of uh they tried to broaden the structure of it but some things can get too broad. Under under iTunes. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. I got so, you. Um, but um, definitely they say with these apps, it's going to be more dedicated, more focused, mm-hmm. um, and you can the accessibility will still be there. Well, so, it's just like yeah. everything is like not in one place. Right. So if right. you want music, you got to get Apple Music. So it's kind of, you know, I was just thinking, it's kind of cumbersome when you think about it, Spe- especially if you were used to just going to iTunes and getting everything under iTunes. You know what I'm talking well, about? Well, yeah. So and, now you, gotta, you have to add, what, two? more apps or whatever well no I think apps. I think it's going to be actually it's going to be the opposite the way they describe it because of you know one thing that's constant is change and in that you know they're going to be upgrading uh, they also announced they're going to be upgrading the operating system mm. so that's coming around between September and October so as they do that and as you know in this current platform there's an app for everything mm. as they say in that commercial there's an app for that Yeah. so right yeah. now as it's moving now in this current platform where everything is streaming, everything is interactive, then I think, you know, um, iTunes is just trying to stay on the cusp of that. And I'm sorry, Apple is staying on the cusp of that mm-hmm. by um, mm-hmm. kind of making those changes. Yeah. So, well, you know, cool. it's going to be interesting um, as the next couple of months come out. Yeah. So guys, like, don't get worried and, and crazy, whatever. If you own all your music, you know, from what I'm hearing from Mark Dean, from you guys, yeah. uh, it, you, you, you don't have your music, all right? So you're not going to lose your music no. uh, that, that you have already, like, you downloaded, that you paid for, basically. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. So because even, your catalog, right. basically. And yeah. even if you think about it right now, um, in terms of as it's gone from, you know, physical to digital, you know, you're only 
purchasing the license mm. and there's a difference between like you know if you had a cd and you purchased the cd you know you have the wherewithal you can make copies you know once you make that purchase mm -hmm. but right now in the streaming where everything is subscription based and all of that you basically purchase the license to use to watch to mm -hmm. hear to listen to all of that mm -hmm. but um in a nutshell, you won't be losing your music. Okay, okay? well, good, right. good, good, yeah. good. Kudos. Right. Okay, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of excited to see exactly how it's going to unfold. You know, I, I am an Apple lover. I'll be honest mm -hmm. with you. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. an iPhone. I'm a, I'm a MacBook. I, I'm one of those people. So all yeah. you people out there talking about Samsung and this or whatever, I just don't even hear it. Go in one ear and it goes out the other. <laughs> well, <so>. you know, <laughs> it's it all goes back to technology and how technology plays that role mm -hmm. especially within this industry evolving you know, so definitely okay so listen guys I know we, we've we heard like this story over and over again but you know yeah. what us as studio says stagers and I know you guys probably wanted to know I actually had one person who had actually hit me up and was like mm. are you guys going to talk about uh, the billboard uh, uh, yeah 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 the, the, the billboard dun, dun, dun. Here we go. that was erected <laughs> right. uh, by a, a fellow actress mm -hmm. um, to really get the attention of uh, director producer uh, actor extraordinaire Tyler Perry right so as you know uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar mm. um, Raquel Bailey okay she's an actress um, she erected you know a, a big a, a, a huge, I want to say big, you know, big, big ass uh, billboard, mm -hmm. right, to get the attention of Tyler Perry. And basically it said, you know, hey, uh, Mr. Perry, you know, I am your next leading lady, you mm. know, so on the side of the road. Like, I think she spent like $2,000 uh, to put it wow. up there. Talk about, no. How talk, much she spent again? Almost like, what, I think $2,000. But look, what? self, and that's investment, right? So, I, you know, honestly, I was like, you know what, are we going to talk about this or not, Mark Dean? You yeah, know? I think we should. So, we should. I, I know mm -hmm. a lot of people we in the should. business, like, won't even touch it with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> let's just, really? let's just be re realistic. I'm just gonna put it out there uh -huh. uh, because, right. you know, it's kind of like, uh, let me just go ahead and say, it's kind of like a, a taboo thing type of thing, right? Mm. So I think the question has has been out there. Uh, you know, she put it up there and then Tyler Perry, of course, he got wind of it mm -hmm. and he responded as well as his casting director. Um, she responded okay. on it also. Wow. So uh, in, in this business, like I said, mm -hmm. I've gone in uh, for Tyler Perry Studios. Uh, I know Raven Drummer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um and um they he basically said this is not um this billboard this is not how you get a role with me this is not mm. how you get discovered okay. uh this is not how you get a, a role in my particular film so mm. he basically said stop <laughs> okay. He basically said, stop, uh, don't do this. He said that word. He stop. said those okay. words across uh -huh. all social media platforms wow. and made sure that everyone saw it. You know, um, w w he let me tell you something. He was very tactful, very mm -hmm. tactful. Okay. Okay. Um, he basically said, you know, you want to work with me. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. Whereas she spent two thousand mm. uh, dollars or so, okay. somewhere close to that or over that. All right. Um, but he was saying that you know just just go through the process, and the process is uh, for all you studio set stages. You already know. He said audition, just audition. And he mm -hmm. said that's free. Right. That's free. Well, you know what? I'm glad that you brought some clarification to it because I have been seeing bits and pieces. I haven't really been paying attention yeah. to it that much. You mm -hmm. know. Um, you know, I, I'm still kind of. Um, um, rocking out from last week, you know, with the boxing match, you know, and all yeah, of that stuff. Because yeah. I'm an avid boxer. But anyway, yeah, yeah. moving forward, dealing with that, um, we have talked about this on previous um, episodes about the process, mm -hmm, um, understanding mm -hmm. the process. And, you know, not to misconstrued and, and not to get it twisted um you have to be aware just like we talked about you know the changes with technology like the changes with itunes mm -hmm, is mm -hmm, no mm -hmm. longer you know a platform but now in the process there's certain things that are tried and true um in this thing like i said it's always the end result that you see yeah and um because you have because of technology, you have resources, you have tools that can be utilized mm -hmm. to move you promote further. Exactly. and move you yeah. and, and get you involved in this craft. Yeah. However, you know, there's an allusion to that and it can be misused. 
if you don't understand how to properly utilize it. Well, I'm so, going to tell you, you know, well, I'm going to yeah. tell you, um, we know what the intention was, right? Yeah. Because yeah. she's worked in other projects before uh-huh. from what I, from what I've heard. I have not mm. seen her projects, okay. but we know what the intention was. But right. now, you like I said, you, you've got this major director um, <laughs> who is saying to you that basically it put his team on high alert. And he actually said, now my team is looking at you silently. Sideways. Mm-hmm. Right. So, no doubt. No doubt. And um, you want to really keep that in mind as you approach this thing. Because, like I said, you know, the road to hell, like you mm-hmm. said, intentions, but the road mm-hmm. to hell was paid with good intentions. Mm-hmm. And you have to know there's a method to the madness. Mm-hmm. There are no rules. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. I've said that before, but there is a process yeah. and you have to understand that. Well, you endangered his team too. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm really right. playing devil's advocates because mm-hmm. I can see both sides. You okay. know, uh, there right. are people who are, who, who are out there who are like, oh my God, I can't believe no she did that and they're shaming her. Mm-hmm. But I also mm-hmm. see the other side because yeah. Uh, yeah. being in this industry and you know also mm-hmm. uh, when you're auditioning and you're, I mean, you can go years yeah. auditioning. You can have hundreds of auditions and you not book anything and yeah. you not work yeah. and that sometimes can get to you that that's what I see that's what I think what happened uh, in, in this case you mm-hmm. know um, she was trying to work with a certain you know work with Tyler Perry right, right. Uh, as we all are you know um, but she was like you know what I'm going to skip ahead of the bunch I'm going to show you how much <laughs> I really really want to work with you you know and I, it backfired to a certain yeah. degree and um, this is a lesson uh, and I definitely yeah. Um, yeah. say this because I extracted from that but this is a lesson to all of the listeners all the studio set stages out there you know Do not make decisions based on desperation. Emotions. And emotions. Oh, my goodness. You cannot make decisions on that because you said how much she spent again? Uh, It's reported like $2,000. Okay, let me me just address that real quick, you know, because like I said, this is refreshingly. Like, I didn't know the details. But anyway. I mean, kudos to her for investing, you know. Now, you know, you got to invest in yourself, but understand. Taking a risk. You have to understand it's not the what, mm. it's how. Oh my goodness, you say that all the time, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, and, it's real. And, and, it's real. And you know that two thousand, because even if you break it down now, look at again social media. Now she wanted to utilize that to get a a big buzz. I'm just saying, I'm just using this. If I had the two thousand mm-hmm. dollars, I would have looked at okay, how can I really stretch this? Now with YouTube, for example, which mm-hmm. is a platform. Mm-hmm. And it's a I'm platform actor, that we're on, right? right exactly. It's a platform that we're on. Right. Well, I might want to, in this process, they normally say you're only as good as your last, what, show, you're project. only as good as yeah. your last project. Whatever it is, yeah. Why don't you create a project to, you know, show your talents? To get more visibility. And get more visibility. Exactly. You know, exactly. rather than putting it on a billboard, mm-hmm. why don't you start that? Create your own platform. Yeah. Because right now is the time to do that. Or do like Tyler Perry did when he was just starting. Take some of that money, put your own production together. Invite, exactly. Invite, invite uh, Mr. Perry out uh, to watch uh, your, you know, your demonstration. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Because this thing is, the proof is in the pudding. Exactly. You know, I could tell you all day, hey man, I'm a hell of a producer. Mm-hmm. You know, man, mm-hmm. I can, these guys making these tracks now, I can do it with, you know, you chopped off all my fingers and left me with my pinky, Mm -hmm. I can Mm -hmm. outproduce the best of them. However, that's just talk. The Mm -hmm. proof is in the pudding. So, you know, um, I think that's just a lesson learned. It is, it is. You know, but that's also a lesson to everybody out there that's listening. Understand there's a method to the madness as a process. Well, you know what? And I was checking do diligence I was that. checking her mm-hmm. um like the Twitter. I don't know if it was yeah. hers, but it was just people who were commenting on like all on all social media platforms. Mm-hmm. And um mm-hmm. there was a lot of people who were like really happy that she actually took a chance on herself, uh, yeah. that she took a risk. Yeah. Um uh, because they said, you know, it, it took balls. You know, like that's not mm-hmm. something that everybody mm-hmm. just goes and do, and does. Just you don't just wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I'm gonna spend two thousand dollars of my own money and put me a billboard up on the side the road so it just shows you like her tenacity you know and her determination so i i literally like love that like i i love a person who is just digging themselves out 
Right. Like they're they're under all the gravel and they're just digging themselves out. They're trying right. to you know determine or whatever. On the flip side, mm-hmm. since I am also um, an actress, right. I know uh, the process. Mm-hmm. And I will, and we respect right. the process. Yeah, we respect right. yes. Um, yes. going to the to the go sees, going you know, mm-hmm. going to the classes, mm-hmm. making sure that you're you're Trump tight. So when that self tape comes up, or when that in person comes, uh, that you're able to shine and walk in the door. You yeah. know, yeah. so exactly. I, I I can see both sides. Like I said mm-hmm. earlier, yeah, and and you know, like I said, I give her E for effort. You know, definitely, but again. It's not the what, it's the how. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Mm -hmm. that energy that you take, you know, this is chess. It's Mm. not checkers. And you have to be strategic and understand with the tools and resources that you have how to utilize them properly. Mm -hmm. Don't put the cart before the horse Mm -hmm. because sometimes, Mm -hmm. you know, to backtrack. And I mean, don't get me wrong. Look, we've all been there. To me, experience has been the best teacher. Mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. you know, this should be chalked up as a, a lesson, mm-hmm. experience, mm-hmm. and know how to go from here mm-hmm. and know how to utilize it properly. There's no shortcuts, you yeah, know. I mean, no I shortcuts. think all of us have gone through that, especially when you when you first, like, star in, in studio set yeah. stage, whatever yeah. you're doing. Maybe you're a gaffer, you're a best boy, mm-hmm. um, you're a director, you're an actor, um, music producer. It, like, yeah. there's no shortcuts to this, right. you know. Uh, it, it, and, like, especially the millennials, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all... that. that I think I read a couple of stories where it's like millennials, like everybody wants it right now, instantly. And that's what social media has created. Like everybody wants it right now. Yeah, the like, illusion exactly. of social they media. They don't want right. they don't mm-hmm. want to spend the time because yeah, hell yeah. It takes a while to get to where you need to go to mm-hmm. go to. Right. I will tell you like uh today, <laughs> right. like literally I booked a job and I went to a studio today. Yes. You know, so I, you know, kudos to me. Yay. Yes, congratulations. You know, thank you. Yeah. Uh yeah. but mm-hmm. but 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 I, I was able to walk into those studios, right, today because of the groundwork, uh because of the relationships right. and because of the pure um work. Yeah. Because of the pure work that I have put in, shoot, years, maybe 15, 20 years ago, now I'm just going into a studio today, and it's 2019. Right. I mean, just, yeah. you got to think about it, you know? Yeah. I mean, Things it, it come just, full it's circle. Not, it's not an right. overnight type thing. No, it's if not. you're looking for something that's overnight, then studio set stage is not for you. Right. Well, this industry, right, you said, studio set stage is not for you. This industry, mm-hmm. there are cheaper hobbies, mm-hmm. you know? And addition, this thing, it invests it's time, mm-hmm. you know, um, mm-hmm. and there's no substitute. There's no shortcuts for that. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, I remember one um, artist um, basically said that, you know, after he achieved it, he was actually receiving an award. He stated, man, it took me 10 years to become an overnight success. Man, what you talking about? And that about? was through the process. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I've been involved in this thing since I was 13. Mm. And in wow. that, the experience, the trek. You know, and I'm still on that journey. Mm-hmm. It's it's never ending. It's always ever changing. It is. And it is. And you have to understand that. But you know, there are certain things that's tried and true. Yeah. You know, like um, I had one young lady um, tell me, "Hey, I'm a performing artist. I have my websites. I have this. I put this stuff out on these various platforms." But I asked her, I said, you a performing artist? She said, "Yes, I am." Mm-hmm. When the last time you performed? Right. 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 So you know. Those certain things that are tried and true, you know, like um, if you are an artist, you know, are you at the open mics? Are you doing mm-hmm. certain things mm-hmm. to hone your skills? Right, right. And those things, once you do that, you know, even if you haven't done it, but if you put the time in on your craft, it's almost like riding a bike. You know, it becomes muscle memory, but you also know that it you know the right way to do it or their process so you understand those things so yeah you know, you know right, I, I right. will relate that also because like, like I said we're living in the reality TV world right, mm-hmm, right. and I mean we, we talk about this all the time and all you actors you are no you know uh, somebody <laughs> has already told you man won't you just do a reality show and you know throw some chairs and spit on some people and <laughs> yeah, hit somebody in the head with yeah, a bottle and, yeah, yeah. And, and get your visit and everybody be on your social media and, yeah, and they probably will yeah. But will you accomplish what you really wanted to go? If mm-hmm. you're in it for real, uh, like to to work in Tyler Perry's uh, films, if you're in it to work on, say, Queen Sugar with Ava DuVernay, uh, if you're in there uh, to work in in a Steven Spielberg uh, film, mm-hmm. like like 
it, it's it's it, it, it's like oh god you might not even get there you may be stuck in that reality tv world mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. because people will not take you seriously and that's one thing in in this business like we want to be taken seriously yeah and we and, want right, to actually right. portray uh the real human condition right. of people so when you portray yourself out there as spitting on folks and hitting folks in the head i, I don't know if ava duvernay is, is knocking at your door right well i think you know like you said perception is is really 95 percent of this um and um strategy Mm. and you know we all know that it's a struggle it's not for the faint Mm -hmm. but you have to implement strategy into your struggle Mm -hmm. and know that okay well this is my end goal and identify that and then due diligence and know that okay it's not going to be a microwavable situation you know now even though you have the technology where and the wherewithal within this current platform where things can go viral but however, mm-hmm. how is it going to reflect or is it going to promote mm-hmm. or hinder you? Yeah. You've yeah. got to look at those things. It might give you the money. I, mm-hmm. I ain't going to lie. Let's, 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 I, mean, I mean, it probably give you the money, but is it going to give you, is it going to fulfill you? And, and some people say, yeah, it will. As long as I get the, the money, like they probably not even worried. The mm-hmm. purpose for them probably goes out the door. Right. But then you was in it for the wrong reasons anyway. Exactly. I mean, that's exactly. I mean, just what it because is. Because if you do what you have to do, and and do understand due diligence get the process then you know that will come mm-hmm. that will come mm-hmm. you know um and we've seen you know there are many stories out there many lessons out there to let you know and again studio set stages that are real and want to be in this industry you know it's important to love what you do mm-hmm. have the passion for it Mm-hmm. But you have to understand this is a business. Yeah. And there's a process that's involved with it. And that. you need to watch who we were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. People like Denzel Washington. Yeah. You know, the Oprah Winfrey. Right. I mean, I mean, they, they, I mean, they are the standard of uh, the Cicely Tysons, you know, yeah. uh, the Sydney Poitiers, you know, yeah. uh, the uh, he- uh, Heather Be- Beechlers. You know, mm-hmm. you, you got to look at those people who have already laid the blueprint. You right. Know what I'm Definitely. Saying? My man that, again, like I said, the documentary is coming out. Yeah. Black Godfather. Yeah. Mr. Clarence Avant, you need to see those things because there's nothing new under the sun. Mm-mm, However, mm-mm. one thing that's ever changing, understanding the technology, how to infuse that into your process. Hey, once you get those variables together, mm. hey, I mean, that's half the battle. Ooh, well said, Mark Dean. Yeah. All right, guys, this is yeah. Studio Set Stage. I'm Cynthia Mallard. And I'm Mark Dean. And guys, like I said, you can find us on all social media platforms. Of course, on YouTube, we need you guys to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I say it all the time. Subscribe, okay? Yes, indeed. Uh, reach out to <laughs> us, you know, ask us if you have any questions for us. Uh, put it out there, too. Like I said, we are on there, and we will definitely uh, reach back out to you. Don't forget to go to studiosetstage.com yes. and uh, put your email in there. Mm-hmm. Sign up. Put uh, your email. That's L-E. right. So that uh, once we have some other offerings that we are adding right now, uh, you'll be the first to know. Yes, indeed. Follow us, like, and subscribe. We're on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, our Heart Radio, and Google Play. All right. I'm Cynthia Mallard. And I'm Martine. All right, guys. Join us next week. Studio Set Stage. Take care.